Hi, I'm Dr. Julie DeCesar. I'm, an I'm a practicing obstetrician gynecologist in Pensacola. I'm in a hybrid practice community and academic, and I'm a professor at University of Central Florida College of Medicine, and also one of the PROVIDE co-leads. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the ARRIVE trial. The ARRIVE trial was a study, a randomized controlled trial that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in August of 2018. And what this trial did is it randomized a cohort of low-risk women, um, nulliparous um, low-risk women, to either induced labor um, or expectant management. And what this trial found was that in the patients that they induced, uh, they had a lower overall cesarean section rate or nulliparous term singleton um, vertex C-section rate in that um, induced population. Um, but before we draw conclusions um, uh, to this study and, and try to take that data and apply it to um, our hospitals, there's a few things that we need to consider about the ARRIVE trial. The first thing is um, that the overall baseline NTSV C-section rate in those hospitals was very low. Um, the baseline rate was 22%, roughly 22%. Um, so I guess my point in that is if your hospital has a low baseline NTSV rate, then you know, you're doing everything right and you don't really have to worry about um, induction versus versus you know expectant management but if, if your low baseline NTSB rate is so low then you know you've met that metric and, and you're doing the right thing um, and um, in the study population the NTSB rate was 18 percent so it was a little bit lower um, the second thing to consider is in that study um, they started out with a population of women that was roughly 50,000 um, and then um, they, um, they, they screened it down to a population of 6,000. So it was a very homogenous population of women um, that were in that trial um, that, you know, potentially would make that data um, not applicable to the very inhomogeneous population um, that we deal with in, in, the, in, the, in the state of Florida. Let's consider the Florida context, um, this study, um, in terms of the Florida context a little bit. Um, the first thing to consider is in roughly 115 delivering hospitals in the state of Florida, only 14 of those actually have an NTSB rate um, lower than the 22%. Um, so really, there's only a very small number of hospitals that you know, started out with that low baseline NTSV rate, similar to what the ARRIVE trial did. The second thing um, to consider in the Florida context is in those ARRIVE trial hospitals, um, they followed the ACOG Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine guidelines for criteria for labor induction and arrest of labor very strictly. Um, and they weren't you know, performing C-sections in patients that actually were not um, really in in active labor. Um, we when we did provide provide um, 1.0, um, and we did real time chart audits. We found that um, only 40% of the C-sections performed in women in Florida for a diagnosis of arrest actually met the ACOG Society for maternal fetal medicine guidelines. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of opportunity here. So, you know, the bottom line is um, the ARRIVE was a, a well done trial. Um, however, um, I think um, it would be um, premature to take the findings for that trial and apply it to a very um, um, inhomogeneous um, population in the state of Florida with um, um, most of our hospitals having very high baseline NTSB rates.